The art program at Graterford started because we were asked to give a talk uh, by an art therapist um, out of the prison. We went out and what we found was a great interest in art and also some real talent. And we started out by doing a small indoor mural in the auditorium that led to doing other indoor murals. And uh, as time progressed, we started talking to the men about uh, their desire to give back to the community. And we thought, oh, they could do outdoor murals because we could work on parachute cloth, with, which is actually just a brilliant method. And it makes it really inclusive. And then we started to think, oh, we could also take on difficult issues facing the city around crime and violence because they are very much, after all, part of that conversation. So for the last five years, we've been creating work for communities. Uh, we have a formal work program there. And we also take on special projects as well. The art show that's opening next week is an accumulation of work created by the men. Um, some of them have painted the work uh, during the class, but most of the work is actually painted by the men in their cells. We have started an additional class where the, the men can improve their skills in drawing and painting, but I think what's happened as a result of painting murals continually uh, for the last several years, the men, their, their painting ability has really improved I think more than just create art, I think it's uh, given them something to care about. And I think what's more important, I mean, I look at their paintings, but I can't help but think about themselves because I see such a difference in the men over the years and that they have just become people who are more caring. Uh, they're definitely nicer to each other. I know that they've become role models to the younger inmates, and I think that's interesting that the artists are the role models in the prison. And I've also talked to their family members who have told me that they're more caring with them. And so what we're doing is we're watching a process of creativity, but it's also a process of creating empathy. We don't really say this to Jane all the time, but amongst ourselves, we always brag, you know, about all the people we've had a chance to meet and encounter. You know, we sort of have like our own little Forrest Gump experiences in this joint. I mean, you know, because we've met everybody. We've met the head of the Ford Foundation. We've met um, uh, Michael Nutter before he was the mayor, you know, when he was campaigning. You know, he came up here and visited with us and asked for some of our ideas about how prisoners can play a role in you know, the developing, you know, the new changing ideas and the vision he has for his city and, you know, so we gave him some input, the little input we could give. Those experiences, man, like, are so rare and unique it, and it gives us a sense of, like, even though we're incarcerated, we still have fulfilling experiences.